Hello lovely people, I'm Yemi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to do overlocking, overcasting stitch on your border machine. So this is the raw edge I'll be working with today. I also have my foot here which is the foot G. It comes with the sewing machine, I think it comes with like 7 presser feet and G is one of them. So there are several stitches that work with the different foots that I have. I'm going to be using 6 and 7 today because those are the two that I use most often or the most often for sewing, for doing my overlocking over casting stitch. There are other stitches that you can actually use. You have the 4 and the 5 which are like your regular zigzag stitch and then you also have like 15 and 26. Those ones are kind of decorative stitches but you can, they can serve the purpose of overlocking as well. But for this video I'll be using the 6 and 7 because I think that they work best, they do the job. So let's change our foot now. I currently have my J on and I'm going to replace it with the G. The J is for my regular straight stitches. Just want to press that button behind and attach the G and release it and that's done. So I'm going to grab my raw edge now and put right under the foot. So if you put your fabric this way, you kind of get it wrong because when you start sewing, the thread kind of goes outside the raw edge and you know that's not what you want. You want it to hold the raw edge tight. So what you're going to do is fix your fabric in such a way that it aligns with the, will I say other foot of the foot? <laughs> with the beginning of the other side of the foot basically, it's almost like in between. So there's this little uh, iron underneath that just like, it's really straight and thin. The thread kind of, over, it just loops over that thing continuously while it's sewing. So it's ins it this ensures that it grabs the raw edge and then does the uh, zigzag stitches. So this is what 6 looks like. As you can see, it's pretty neat. comes really neat and nice. So let's try the 7 and see what that will look like. So I didn't remove my fabric, I just continue sewing. And for seven, the difference is like there's like a regular straight stitch underneath the bunch of W's or underneath the zigzag stitches like you see right now. So that's the difference. So you can work with six or seven, whichever one you want to use. But those are the two that work with the Fuji and I think they do quite an excellent job in holding your raw edges. At least you're ready to buy a serger which to be honest is way more expensive than your regular sewing machine. So if you're just doing DIY projects for now, you can just concentrate on using these stitches for your overlocking projects, but for way more advanced things, you probably need to eventually buy a serger. So close up, this is what six looks like, and this is what seven looks like. So you can choose whatever one you want to use, depending on what kind of projects you're working on. Just trying to give you like more close up view of this. So that's a straight stitch and this one just looks like a bunch of W's. Anyways, thank you so much for watching my video today. I'm glad that you did watch it to the end and I'll definitely come through with more videos soon. If you like this video, please put a like and then put a comment and if you have any ideas on any videos you want me to do, please put it in the comment section. I definitely respond to comments. So, um, see you all in my next video. Bye.